Hello and welcome to Sharon Local History and welcome to Sharon Massachusetts. As you can see from the date, Sharon is over 250 years old at this point and we do have deep roots in history. However, we don't have many historical buildings left, but some we do. So I would like to show you um, treasure from our archives which is a collection of photographs from Sharon from early 1900s. The really cool thing about this collection is that the photographs were taken by the same person and he used to bike around the town. So you can pretend you're searching for Waldo. I don't want to get in too much into a uh, deep history of each of those properties on in the pictures, but I give you a quick summary um, what, what is on it, what you can see, and what the location is, and I hope you will enjoy it. So imagine you're in the center of town in Sharon on Depot Street, and you're walking down towards train station. South Pleasant will be on your left side. So what you can see now is the um, train tracks where the overpass is right now. By the way, the building on the far back, it's still standing. This is the old train station, which was on the other side and kind of in the middle, on the right side behind the train station is the water pumping station. So again, this is the building of the train station. I love, um, I don't give you enough time, but I love sneaking into detail on the picture so you can use the pause button and see the little details. Um, this is our second train station. We had a few actually which was at Heights at the current Garden Street. Now we are back in the center of town and I'm standing in, oh, not me, <laughs> the photographer was standing in the center of town and uh, he had a Billings and Pond on the right, Depot Street on the left, and he was looking up North Main Street. So the building in the middle is still standing. That's the property with the brick on it, which apparently is from a ballast of a, a boat. Um, the property on the right side is in this picture as well, and it, it was called Savile's Tavern. At one point it was called Johnson's Tavern, but don't confuse it with another Johnson's Tavern. Anyhow, this building was actually moved to um, High Street. Uh, it's across from Sharon Historical Society right now. So now you can imagine the photographer turn a little bit to the right and you have a tree in the middle and on the left side it's Billings Street and on the right side Bond Street. The building on the right is what used to be called Petit and Colburn's store. It is Sharon Market now. And in the middle that was a brand store which also served as post office for a little bit and it is Bank of America right now. So the next picture is from the center of town. Just imagine you turn 180 degrees all the way around to see Depot Street in the middle. Unitarian Church on the right and Sharon Market on the left. And now we move a little bit down to for on down on um, South Main Street. And this is the original town hall, which unfortunately is long gone, but you can see the beauty of the building. Now you are standing in front of the town hall and you are looking at North Main Street where the Wilbur School basically is right now. You can, I, this is what I love, the details about the photographs. Do you see the trolley? So the big building on the back is Morse Block which um, burned down with uh, some suspicion that it was probably caused by somebody, the fire I mean. Um, anyhow, the streetcars were in Sharon uh, for about 20-21 years. And of course you cannot miss the music stand and on the right side it's Workers Building, which is current CVS. This property used to be on High Street and it is it was a school, mostly elementary, uh, for grades 3 and 4. And um, it is basically where the public parking lot is right now. You can see the spire of the Congregational Church on the back. This building is gone for about 50 years and as I mentioned there is a parking lot now. 
So now you imagine you are going up towards center of town on Bond Street. So on the right side you would have Bank of America, on the left side uh, the red lentil, which is actually gone. And um, right here I am just assuming that this is actually North Main Street. It's probably Quakers Inn, the bank behind and you can see on the back of the streetcar there is Unitarian Church. So this is uh, from the period when the, uh, the streetcars were popular in Sharon. Can you see the bike? <laughs> uh, this is a famous standby which basically work as a pressure tank to bring water from the Beaver Brook all the way to the center of town and Thanks to this amazing invention that many people didn't believe will work, we had running water in town. So here is Unitarian Church. You can see the stone wall and the fence looks the same. However, the building on the left side is long gone. Um, next church, this is Congregational Church. I do certainly miss those large big trees. And the third photograph is Baptist Church, also on North Main Street. So all those three churches are still standing and are in the center of town. This is North Main Street and you can see the spire of a Congregational Church. And this house belonged to Alice Fowler, I believe. Um, so the kind of road in the middle, you can see the stone wall breaking, that's most likely Brook Road. So I have no idea where this picture is from, <laughs> but my guess is North Main Street, because that's where we have the trolley tracks. Uh, can you see the bike? Hint, right side. The next street is apparently Bond Street. I'm sorry, I don't see any buildings familiar to this day, so I cannot tell you where exactly it is. Um, this is uh, North Main Street uh, across from the travel shop Bond. Uh, there used to be a huge barn and at some point it served as um, parking or rather garage for the streetcars. This is the same building, just from different angle. These incredible images are photographs of the first Massa Park Lake Hotel before it burned down. I love the trees, it's pretty amazing. So just imagine somebody built this incredible huge hotel over 120 years ago. It was a very popular resort. We heard amazing things, how well run it was and how many visitors there were, how much they enjoyed the lake. It was probably the number one place in Sharon, in all honesty. And here is the view from the porch on the lake. Uh, I am sure some of you can uh, give me the exact date of the cars. <laughs> Pretty amazing, right? Um, again, I believe the bike on the right side is the photographers. So this structure was in front of the Massa Park Lake Hotel and I believe it was the, um, the launching for the boat, for the big steamboat that used to take visitors across from the lake. Oh, I love this image. It's uh, Cottage Street basically meeting Ames Street. So you are on Cottage Street right now and down on the bottom to the right that's the hammer that was on Hammer Shop Bond. Uh, this is the same intersection but you are standing on Ames Street and making that curve to the left. So Quincy Street on your right side. You're standing right on the dam. And this picture is actually the building that was right where the dam is. Um, very amazing. I, I never seen this one before. So we are very glad that we have a few pictures of these um, properties. Mm -hmm. 
And many of you may recognize this property. This is the Stone Home Mansion, the beautiful stone historical building that is on um, East and Aim Street intersection. So um, apparently it in the photograph like the building and he took a bunch of pictures for us. So as many of you know, unfortunately the property itself, the land was split into uh, I think five or six properties and but we are very fortunate that the you know this gate most likely it's from Ain Street. Uh, we are very fortunate that the building itself is preserved. It's pretty incredible. Um, this is very interesting. That's basically how East Street look like. So on the left side you have the stone hall mansion and on the right side that was O'Leary Farm which was turned into a golf course. And here are a few more pictures of the stone hall mansion. I just love 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 how um, you can see the property, the lawn, the weeds and um, washing lines back there. Those trees are of course long gone and I think it is the carriage house on the right side. It's also stone built. This building is long gone but many of you visit this place and you're standing right where the mill was. So this was the cotton mill on Man's Pond owned by William Mann and later on his son. Okay, I give you a few seconds to think where do you think this place is? You can probably see the bike right in the middle, leaning on the post. The trees on the left side are famous willow trees that were at our beach. So this is a photograph of our memorial park beach. On the left side is the lake and on the right side it's properties that used to be there before 1930s. And here this building does the old flume. So imagine that this is Massapoak Avenue and where the guy on the carriage is, that's basically where the rotary is. So the flume was built to control the, um, the level of the water in the lake and it was originally uh, wooden and then there was a stone one. And here are a few photographs of our beach. I do hope that next time you go to the lake you will enjoy the sand because it wasn't there originally. And the last photograph is the Boston Ice Company ice house that served really well. I believe that it made a big deal for Sharon and brought some revenue in town thanks to ice industry. Unfortunately it burned down and it's long gone. So I managed to squeeze in some history in under 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to learn more about the history of Sharon, please visit Sharon Historical Society on 16 High Street. We are open three times a week now. Thank you for watching Sharon Local History.